And as we, I hope you are well. Now, today is a special day for some people. It is Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year. Okay, should we find out a little bit more about what Chinese New Year is? Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so then you can see what I can see and we're going to find out all about Chinese New Year. Let's have a look. Okay, so where is China? We don't live in China, do we? Now, China is a country in Northeast Asia and China is the fourth biggest country in the world. That's really big nursery, isn't it? The fourth biggest in the whole world. Now, what does China look like? Now, China has all different kinds of weathers and it depends whereabouts you live in China to what weather you're going to get. Now, down in the south, it's full of jungles. There's lots of jungles in China and it's very hot and very humid. I think I would like it down there because I like being hot. And up in the north are where the mountains are. So when you have mountains, that's where it snows. So much of the year, it has snow. Okay, now who are the Chinese people? This is a picture of a family and they are Chinese. So people like to call themselves Chinese because that's where they come from. They come from China. So they are Chinese. They mainly speak a language, Mandarin. It's called Mandarin. So we speak English, they speak Mandarin. Now, Chinese people eat a lot of rice. They love rice. And they have it nearly with every meal. They even have rice at breakfast time. They love it so much. Okay, now when is Chinese New Year? So Chinese New Year is today, and that is Friday the 12th of February, but it does change every year. So it will be different days every year. Now the festival. Let's see what happens, shall we? So they need to be prepared. Before they celebrate, they have to be prepared. So everybody helps to clean the house. So it makes sure that the house is nice and clean before the new year begins. Lots of special food is prepared. So they might buy special food or they may make special food and they decorate their doors and all around their rooms and their houses with, with lots of red and gold decorations. You can see lots of them in the picture here. They're all gold and red because Chinese people believe that red and gold are lucky colours. Doesn't it look pretty? Okay, so what happens on New Year's Eve? Now their New Year's Eve would have been last night. So it's the day before their new day, their new year. Let's see how they celebrate. Some people don't even go to sleep on New Year's Eve. Some people go to their temples and they worship. Families get together and have a special New Year's Eve meal. And some families still follow very old traditions where that means that they stay in their house and they shut their windows and their doors. And this is to keep evil spirits from getting in. Now, some of the branches on trees are burnt and firecrackers are set off. So that's like when we have fireworks, they have firecrackers and they all crack away. So they have like our fireworks. Sounds very exciting, doesn't it? Now on New Year's Day, let's see what happens. Everybody shouts Happy New Year to everybody and they hope that everyone has wealth. Children get little red envelopes like these and inside is some money because they believe that giving red envelopes is lucky because remember, they think red is a lucky color and also gold and that's why there's gold on these envelopes. And families get together and they wear nice, smart new clothes. So after the main day, what happens? Now look, to me, this looks like they're having fun and they're doing some dancing. 
let's have a look. So again, people visit their families and some friends and teams of dancers dress up and they dance in the street. So it's like a parade. They go along the street dancing and lots and lots of people stand there and watch them. Now there's also something called the Lantern Festival. As you can see, there's lanterns in this picture. And again, they're red and gold, aren't they? Now this is a bright and happy way to end the celebrations. So at the end of their new year, they light up all these lanterns and that says that it's the end of the celebrations. And people celebrate the end of winter, which means that the sun is getting stronger as spring becomes closer. Now let's think, there's lots of activities that you can do at home to celebrate Chinese New Year. So I've got some together to see whether you like some of these and that you could do at home. Now, maybe you could make a lucky red envelope. So if you have an envelope, or maybe you could just make your own out of paper by folding it if you don't have an envelope, and you could color it in red. If you've got something gold or yellow, you could use that as gold and decorate it, do some nice patterns on it. Maybe have a go at doing some Chinese writing that's on the front or some patterns. So that's the first one, a lucky red envelope. Maybe you can have a go at making a Chinese lantern. Now, I know that this has been one of our activities before, so I think you're going to be really good at this. But remember, you have to decorate this one with lots of bright colours and patterns, OK? Like these ones in here, they look beautiful, don't they? Lots and lots of colours, and then maybe you can hang them up in your house. Okay, now maybe you could make a Chinese dragon. So like when those men were dancing underneath the dragon, you can make your own. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can make your own dragon. You can use some junk modeling. You can just use some paper and fold it up. If you've got some cups, you can use cups. So there's so many ways that you could make your own Chinese dragon. Then maybe you could have a go at dancing with it. That would look amazing, wouldn't it? And maybe you could use a uh, make a Chinese hand fan. Now I know that you've made you've done some of these as well in the activity. These are a little bit different, and the instructions are here. I'm not going to read them all. Okay, if you want to make it, then your adult can just put them up. But you need two pieces of paper, and then you join them together to make a circle. So it's a little bit different to the other fan. So that might be good as well. Again, you could always decorate those, couldn't you, before you start folding the papers to make them look really pretty. And maybe you could try some Chinese writing. So this writing in the middle, it looks like lots of lies and like looks a little bit like some squares, doesn't it, and some lines. That actually says, Happy New Year. So maybe you could have a go at doing some Chinese writing. That would be really, really good. Now the best one is maybe you could try some Chinese food, okay? You most probably haven't got any in your house at the moment, but if you wait a few days, or if your parents are going to the shops another day, maybe you can ask them to find some Chinese food and bring it home for you. Mm -mm, I love Chinese food. If you do, let me know what you have and let me know if you liked it or not. <gasps> maybe you can make some chocolate sticks and try and eat your food with them. Look at this. They don't use, use forks like we use. They use chopsticks, which are like two pieces of wood. It's really hard to do. I can't do it. Then they pick up their food with the two pieces and they eat it. It's very clever. And then this is how you say Happy New Year in Chinese. Kung Hei Fat Choi. Maybe you could have a go at saying that to me. Okay, nursery. So there are lots and lots of different activities there. If you would like to have a go at them today or over the weekend, or if you just want something to do to celebrate Chinese New Year, I can't wait to see all the things that you make and hopefully you'll get to try some food as well. I'll see you soon, nursery. Take care. Bye.